Hello! Today we're going to look at Git integration in VS Code. We'll start by creating a branch to make our code change. To do this, we'll open the command palette, type git branch, and then we provide the name of the branch. We're going to do refactor to promise and press enter. Now the branch has been created. Notice in the bottom left hand corner it shows that the current branch we're on has changed. Now that might have happened too fast. Let's switch back to the master branch by opening the command palette, git checkout, and we can go to master. We can switch back to our feature branch by doing git checkout, and then going to refactor to promise. Now we're on our feature branch. We can then publish the branch to the remote repository origin by pressing the cloud button here. This will prompt us, are we sure we want to publish? Yes, we are. Click Publish. Now the branch has been published to the remote repo. We can now make the changes to our code. We'll start by bringing in the promise module, require promise, and we'll do our code refactoring, which will involve removing this parameter, doing return new promise, There we go. We've made a few code changes. You'll notice in the gutter, the blue indicates that a change has been made. The green indicates a new line. And if we removed a line, like this line, the red indicator indicates that a line has been removed. We'll undo that because we don't want that change. And now if we click this Git button over here, you can see that we now have a badge indicating that there's been one file change. We click this, and we can see the diff view. What this is showing, notice the name of the file, is database.js head compared to database. You can see that we're looking at an inline view. You can right click and switch to a side by side view to view the changes side by side. Again, comparing the head pointer to the current file. It shows us the things that have been changed and removed. We can do a thorough code review and we can even make changes if we actually wanted to say change this from a 4 to a 2 and now we can stage the file. If we go over here you can see the plus button is for staging or we can revert or clean the file if we want to undo all the changes that we've made. We want to stage it so we click stage now the file has been, has been moved to stage changes. We can then write our commit message refactored to use promises and then click the check mark to commit the stage changes now we've made a commit. But maybe we made a mistake and we want to undo our commit. We can do that simply by doing undo last commit which will roll back the changes. If we decide that we're still happy with what we have we can stage it, write the commit message again, refactored to use promises to commit, and then we can push or do other things here, pull, rebase, we're going to push We want to see the git commands that VS Code is using. We can do that simply by doing show git output. This will show us every git command that VS Code is running so we can see how git is being used internally with VS Code. That wraps up our git integration tutorial. In the next video, we'll be looking at debugging. Thank you.